Well, hello again, my beauties. Welcome back. Brand here. And in today's video, product review ulit tayo. Skincare is passion and hindi lang talaga passion, kundi nakaka-addict din. Kaya naman, marami akong natatry ng mga skincare product. At lagi-lagi kong sineshare sa inyo yung aking honest and personal review sa mga products na aking natatry at those products that I've enjoyed using. And for today, I'm going to review about a product that contains a high percentage of my favorite skincare ingredient from a different brand. Watch on mga kabutis para malaman nyo kung anong brand ba to and if it's worth to spend money on it. Intro muna tayo. Like I'm always saying mga kabutis, I have oily skin type and for that, I'm into skincare products that controls excessive oil. And niacinamide or vitamin B3 is the best skincare ingredient for it. Previously, I've been using for the longest time the ordinary niacinamide 10% plus 1% zinc, which still is my favorite until today. But due to it being not so readily available dito sa Israel, I decided to give the brand Inkylist with niacinamide 10% and 1% hyaluronic acid to try. Let's see if it lives up to its claims. Or kung mas maganda ba yung performance ng niacinamide ng The Ordinary or itong Inkylist. And mga kabutis, just in case you're new to this brand, Inkylist was launched in 2018 in Canada just the same as The Ordinary brand. And ito pa mga kabutis, magkaparehas din sila ng goals which is to provide a simple, qualitative, and effective skincare products that suits everyone's packet. The Inkelis Niacinamide Serum contains 10% niacinamide and it is combined with 1% hyaluronic acid for added moisture. Okay mga kabuti, so yung serum na ito comes in a black and white colored na plastic container with squeezable pressed down cup. Madaling i-dispense yung kanyang liquid product at may laman itong 30 ml. The serum is creamy rich in texture na parang face lotion pero super hydrating siya kasi meron itong hyaluronic acid at squalene. Madali namang maabsorb sa skin pero medyo sticky but once na nilayer mo yung moisturizer mo, nawawala yung tacky feel and you're good to go. After 2 weeks of using it sa so umaga at gabi, it gave me the same positive effects I had from that of the ordinary version. Like tighter pores, smoother skin, normalized oil production lalo na sa my T-zone area. At my radiance din akong napansin sa skin. Talking about texture, mas hydrating itong Inkelis Niacinamide as compared doon sa the ordinary. And isa pang nagustuhan ko sa Inkelis Niacinamide, is hindi siya nagpo-foam kapag ka apply mo sa skin. It layers very well with any skincare ingredient and hindi siya nagpipil. Mm, ano pa ba? <laughs> ah, budget friendly at only 50 shekels and it is well packaged kaya walang spilling na nangyayari at fragrance free din siya. And yes mga kabutis, I will continue using this until I find something better. Kasi this time, I'd prefer this one than the ordinary niacinamide 10% plus zinc. Kasi yung the ordinary, nagisting siya sa face for a few days, even extends to a week or two. While this is very gentle enough. And maganda dito is pwede mo siyang ilayer ng kahit anong skincare ingredient and walang problema. Overall, I'd say that the Inkelis Niacinamide 10% plus HA 1% is a very good treatment serum. Okay, so yan yung ating review sa the Inkelis Niacinamide plus HA. And mga kabutis, thank you for watching. Hope to see you again on my next video. Be happy and be healthy.